Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this video, we will learn about the different transmission modes in the communication. Now as you know, the data communication is basically exchange of information between the two devices over the specific medium. So this information could be a voice or the text messages or even it could be a images or the videos. Now the medium over which we are transmitting this data could be a wired medium like optical fibers or the coaxial cables or it could be a wireless medium. So this data communication between the two devices can be a one-way communication or it can be a two-way communication. And accordingly, there are three possible types of communication or in other words, there are three possible modes of transmission. So if you see these three transmission modes, then they are simplex, half duplex and the full duplex. So let us see them one by one. So when we say a simplex communication, then it is basically a one-way communication. That means in this type of communication, the data transmission can happen only in the one direction. So the device which transmits the data is called the transmitter and the other device which receives this data is known as the receiver. So since it is a one-way communication, so the data transmission in the other direction is not possible. So if you see the radio or the TV broadcasting, then it is the example of the simplex communication because in case of the broadcasting there is only one-way communication. Similarly, the communication between the CPU and the display monitor or the communication between the mouse and the CPU is also simplex communication. So if you see the communication between the CPU and the monitor then the CPU is sending the data to the display monitor and the monitor is displaying that content on the screen. That means that is the example of the simplex communication. Likewise, the communication between the keyboard or the mouse and the CPU is also one-way communication because through the keyboard or the mouse, we are sending the data to the CPU. So these are the examples of the simplex communication. So the next type of communication is the half duplex communication. Now when we see a duplex communication, then it is basically a two-way communication. But here, let us understand what do we mean by the half duplex communication? So here the half duplex means although it is a two way communication but it does not allow the bidirectional communication at the same time. That means at a time the communication can happen only in the one direction. And once that is over there and then only it is possible to transmit the data in the other direction. But the simultaneous communication in the both directions is not possible. So a walkie talkie with a push to talk button is the example of the half duplex communication where at a time only one person can talk. So similarly if you see the full duplex communication then once again it is the two way communication. But in this case it is possible to transmit the data in the both directions at the same time. So here to achieve the simultaneous transmission in both directions mainly two approaches are used. So in a one approach both the devices are transmitting the data at the two different frequencies. So as you can see, here the device A is transmitting the data at the F1 frequency while the device B is transmitting the data at the F2 frequency. And since both the devices are transmitting the data at the different frequencies, so there won't be any interference between the two transmissions. So this approach is known as the frequency division duplexing. So similar to the frequency division duplexing, the another approach is known as the time division duplexing. So in this approach, both the devices are transmitting the data on the same frequency, but they are transmitting at the different time slots. That means here, a single channel is divided into the time slots and both the devices are transmitting the data at the different time slots. So here, since these time slots are very short, so it feels as if the transmission in the both the directions is happening almost simultaneously. And that is why this approach is still considered as the full duplex communication. So here the slots in the yellow color represents when the device A is transmitting and similarly the slots in the white color represents when the device B is transmitting. So in case of the time division duplexing, if a device A wants to transmit more data then it is possible to allocate more transmission slots in the specific direction. And similarly when the device B has a more data to share then it is possible to allocate more transmission slots in the reverse direction. That means in this time division duplexing, if the traffic is asymmetric in both directions, 
then dynamically it is possible to increase the transmission capacity in the one direction. So if you see the satellite communication then it is the example of the frequency division duplexing where for both uplink and the downlink we have the two separate frequencies. On the other end the Wi-Fi is the example of the time division duplexing and if you see the cellular network technologies like the 4G and the 5G then they uses both time division as well as the frequency division duplexing. So in this way we have a three different transmission modes in the communication that is simplex, half duplex and the full duplex. So if you have any question or suggestion then do let me know here in the comment section below. If you like this video hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos.